it's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's, 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 it's like you don't know what's going on. Tavon you know, Hughes lost his financial up. analyst yeah. job because of the COVID-19 pandemic. He is three months behind in rent, but says his landlord is working with him. They are trying to be understanding and patient because of the situation with the unemployment. People who are already uh, on the financial edge uh, ha have been pushed even closer uh, to the precipice. Um, many are already in desperate uh, straits. During a roundtable discussion on housing, Senator Chris Van Hollen gave sobering figures. Millions of people across the country delinquent on house payments. And according to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, 214,000 Marylanders are behind in rent. If you dig further, uh, you find that Members of communities of color, um, the African-American community, the Latino community are especially uh, at risk, uh, just as those communities have been especially hard hit uh, during the pandemic. Van Hollen described federal proposals to help combat foreclosures and evictions, and state lawmakers did the same. One state proposal calls for setting up an eviction diversion program. We want to keep eviction as something that's used is a, a, a means of last resort. We want to make certain that people stay in their homes um, and, and, and have an opportunity to work these issues out. Another measure called emergency housing relief for renters would put a moratorium on evictions through the end of this year. We know that this crisis is not, this housing crisis is not going to end when the pandemic ends. Again, these are proposals, and Senator Van Hollen says the relief efforts are trying to address emergency needs. Reporting live from Northwest Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.